screaming, murdering everyone around her. With each power, she lost more and more of her sanity, and her attacks became more brutal and savage. of her plan. The killer quickly began to destroy the evidence of her crime. She picked up one of the corpses, and she dumped the corpse inside. So all five corpses were in the incinerator. She activated it. She prepared to clean up the rest of the evidence. The killer started to clean up all of the blood that she had spilled. First, she grabbed a bucket. She brought it to a sink and filled it with water. Then, she added bleach to the water and dipped a mop into the bucket. After that, she mopped up every last drop of blood on the ground. With all of the blood mopped up, she moved on to the next part of the cleanup process. The killer quickly ran to the shower building to clean herself up. She opened up her locker. She removed her blood-splattered outfit and changed into a towel. Then, she took a shower and washed the blood from her body. Once she was clean, she returned to the locker and changed into clean clothing. Perfectly clean. Now, nobody would suspect that she just committed murder a few minutes ago. killer carried the murder weapon to a drinking fountain and used water to wash the blood away. Then, she picked up the clothes that she had worn during her killing spree. She brought the blood-stained clothing to a washing machine, tossed it inside, and activated it. you know? Uh, well, I guess it works either way. The killer needed to steal a key, but a witness was nearby, so she hid behind a nearby wall. When she was hidden from view, she performed a creepy giggle. The witness, confused and this unexpected sound began to investigate the noise. While the witness was distracted, the killer quickly grabbed the unguarded key. With the key in hand, the killer was able to proceed to the next phase of her master plan. <laughs> She would eliminate her target and dispose of all evidence without being spotted even once.
she could not do. She had become a true master of death. The killer grabbed a syringe and a tranquilizer. She hid the syringe in her clothing. She spoke to her next victim and convinced the unsuspecting girl to follow her into a secluded room. She closed the door behind her, took out the syringe, and stabbed the girl from behind. She dragged the girl's unconscious body to a large case and dumped her inside of it. She left the area and returned after midnight to collect the body of her victim with no witnesses. She prepared to build a tripwire trap. She grabbed a knife, a spool of thread, and masking tape. Her next victim would die by fire. She grabbed a canister of gasoline and poured it into a bucket. She poured the gasoline into a water cooler and set up the trap. After her unsuspecting victim was covered in gasoline, this? she used a candle to like light her on fire. Gasoline? with blades, water, electricity, and even fire itself. She controlled the elements. The killer planned to murder her next victim with electricity. The first step was grabbing a bucket. She filled the bucket up with water and dumped the water on the ground at her victim's feet. Then she picked up a car battery and threw it into the puddle of water. <laughs> Even as she stood over the corpse of her latest victim, she was already planning her next murder. As the killer continued to take lives, she encountered different types of victims. Some victims would fight tooth and nail against the killer, attempting to disarm and apprehend her. However, she always stood victorious in the end. Thanks for your help, Yanchan! Hey.